All aboard the Norwegian Prima. Ahoy! Yay! Alrighty, guys. I'm going to go over everything on the ship everything that you need to know it was a beautiful ship it's post covid so everything is a little bit smaller and sectioned off i'm going to go over everything you can possibly imagine so you can uh, decide for yourself if you want to stay here or not i'm going to go to the spa we had two massages here go through the casino all the shows they had improv deal or no deal the go-karting the slides the virtual reality rooms that was pretty awesome and then we also snuck into a crew party and of course last but not least all the food all the food that's included and all the drinks and all the drinks that are included i'll also show you the pools the gym if you really want to go we did and of course an observation deck where you can catch the awesome rays and get some little light bites and snacks to eat all right, so we stayed in a mini suite, 11702, booked through Amex Travel. It was a beautiful room. Everything was so clean, smelled brand new, just because it was just built in 2022. There's a full closet with uh, bathrobes and then a safe and then little baskets to hang your stuff. Remember, this was an 11-day cruise, so we did need to hang our stuff up. The bathroom was beautiful. It's just a step up, and then you have the full shower with a, a the attachment too. So um, it was really good. They only had shampoo and then body wash so be sure to bring your own um lotions because you do your skin does tend to get a little bit dry here and they don't have lotion and they do have body soap if you ask the butler the room was really nice you can split the bed into two or you can have it as one king then we had room service as well it's 9.95 every time you order something even the breakfast in the morning is 9.95 charge also the balcony was really beautiful you had a really good view of the front i would probably not choose this room again just because that same view is on the tv um and so we were just basically looking at what the tv looked at i'll probably next time get a side balcony um i really did like the room though it was really huge spacious clean the butler came every day his name was limbert he was amazing go limbert and uh, we always kept him you know kept a couple of tips ready for him every day even though we already paid for the gratuities um also you can see the room it's beautiful layout the couch is also a pull out couch tv has a lot of free um movies and obviously the regular tv channels they do have some ones that you can buy now here you can kind of see your account uh dining entertainment for the day basically your online uh sea map where we are in the middle of the ocean or on our next stop hey guys it's Restaurant Tour Travels here, and uh, it's Halloween, so happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. And, and uh, my lovely wife, Annika, she got some really cool shirts. We just boarded the terminal. Every single person said, not a trick. And then she had a shirt on, obviously, she had to take it off like this. Wearing and it says, tree. we're expecting a little treat. And then Yay. we got the little baby nana. Baby nana with the feet. So we're on the Nor Norwegian Prima. Um, Brand new ship, mm -hmm. set sail six months ago. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ship. You can see the LED lights in the back. We got a, uh, what's our room number? 11702. Front um, end, facing front, suite. Front, front, is that the aft? Yes. Well, our aft is the back. I, I forgot. I'm not sure, but we're in the front. <laughs> um, and it's it's a suite. It's really, really nice. You can smell the fresh paint in here. It's so clean. Yeah, really clean. It's so, so clean. Um, the, the, in the terminal, everybody was really nice from there. As soon as we boarded the ship, um, you know, we checked in. Really nice. Green with smiles. I was expecting a champagne glass or some kind of welcoming thing. But, you know, maybe they, they just missed it. Um, a lot of, I think, the, the, the demographics on the ship. Everyone already boarded, maybe a little older, um, but it's really, really nice so far. This is the- Key. This is the room key. I was expecting it to be a bracelet. Kind of bummed out about that, yeah. Yeah, and then a quick thing I wanted to let you know for all you pregnant ladies, you have to be less than 24 weeks yes. to board the ship. Make sure. So I, we wanted to go to New, on New Year's Eve, but we had to change it and come in uh, October because I would have been over 24 weeks at that time. Um, what's what's really funny though is that she didn't ask to see the doctor's note. She just yeah, asked she you, ask, yeah. are you are you less than are, when the cruise over? Are you going to be twenty four weeks? And she's going to be at nineteen, but she didn't even say this. No, but I had to submit a document. Oh, you, you, oh, yeah, she submitted to, a document. you have to submit a document from your doctor okay. saying okay. how far along you're going to be or how far along you are right now, so they can calculate how far along you're going to be when you. Uh, 
disembark the ship and so you have to be less than 24 weeks so we just made it so we're good to go um another thing the tickets uh the price of this we booked through amex travel they were 4900 per person um a little bit steep but it does include the premier drink package yeah, empty pockets, <laughs> empty pockets. <laughs> it, it does include the premier drink package. Um, so we're going to still continue to see what is actually included in there. Um, we do get $50 onboard credit per excursion, uh, per, per stop. And then we also get $50 um, excursion credit per excursion, Which per awesome. stop. So we're going to see if these, you know, how these work, if they work really good or not. And then we're going to give you feedback on that. Are you popping a beer? Oh, no. It's oh. my natural cold brew. Okay. And like I was freaking out liquids. And I took off all my clothes almost uh, <laughs> to the security. And she's like, oh, 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 it's a cruise. You don't need to do this. And you don't have to take your watch totally, We anything. totally forgot about this. When was the last time we took a cruise? 2019. Yeah, we took two cruises back to back on the Carnival Vista. And so Out of Galveston. And uh, that was in May, no, April 2019 or May, can't remember, but it was 2019. And then June to uh, past July, 4th July, then we took a celebrity cruise out of New York. I forgot what the celebrity ship name was. Uh, summit. Summit. It was a summit. Cele celebrity 2019, summit. it's now 2022 of October. And we're finally 31st. getting back on Halloween. our cruise. I love cruises. I just started getting into cruises, so I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to show you like a full tour of everything. We're going to go through the dining. Uh, we're going to go through all the activities. Tell me about the itinerary and why we picked this. Well, we just live 30 minutes away from here in Clear Lake City. I grew up there my whole life, 33 years. Uh, we got two restaurants here. That's what we decided to name our channel, Your Restaurant Tour Travels. And believe me, we know food. <laughs> and so does she, and so does the little one. He's gonna know food <laughs> real well. Okay, so we got a Dairy Queen, and we got a fine dining Indian restaurant. That's my mother, she created the recipes, but we eat six times a day. And we eat three food. times a day, we eat six times a day. And we have a taste for the food. We, actually, mm. we don't just eat the food, we taste the food. There's a difference. When you taste it, you actually know what's in there, what flavors they're using, and we'll like to discuss and more into that. And if it's fresh, and if it's just out of frozen, out of a bag, and so that's why when we when we rate our restaurants, it's based on like taste, a very taste, you know, a lot, you know, very good taste, but very high taste, but also uh, we have high expectations. So if we're rating something pretty low, and you're like, well, when I ate it, it was delicious. I thought well, it was great, but but. Our expectation is different. It's a little bit higher. It's bougie. For food. It's bougie. It, you yeah, can call it, you can call it bougie, but it's it's because we've eaten a lot. And even for even if we eat fast food, if we eat McDonald's or Chick Fil A or whatever it is, we have a high expectation because yeah, on service. Hey, with inflation nowadays, I mean, and either way, it's your money. You earned it the hard way, so you know we want the best bang for your buck for us and for you. Yeah. So, okay, let me go over the stops a little bit. So our first stop is in, we're gonna be at sea for one day. Then we're gonna stop at Mexico, Cozumel. Then we're gonna be at sea for two more days. Then we're gonna go to Aruba. Ooh, I've been to Aruba, she has Aruba, hasn't. I haven't been to Aruba. And make sure you bring your sunblock, the highest SPF, because it is very close to the equator and you get dark very fast. <laughs> And then, uh, then we go to Curacao yes. for one day, then Bonaire. Never been to Bonaire, but been Never to Curacao and Aruba. I think on the 2013 cruise Carnival Vista. Then we're, go we're gonna be at sea for two more days, and then we're gonna be at the Great Stirrup Cay Bahamas. And then we stop at Miami. So we're gonna take a flight out from Miami back to Houston. Because this is a repositioning cruise. Mm -hmm. It's our first time on a Norwegian cruise line ever, and it's the first time the first time we got in Norwegian, luckily we were on a brand new ship. So it's been six months and it's going to reposition in Miami and go out of Miami. But, you know, hopefully after you, you guys watch this video, if, you know, everything turns out good for us, we're going to keep you posted. Obviously, this is day one. We've just been on this cruise ship for 30 minutes. <laughs> so, less, yeah. you know, we're going to let oh, you know the whole thing. Another thing, let me tell you, we when we checked in right now, we checked in at 2 o'clock and it was empty. Like, there was no one I, there. We I thought it was a ghost ship. Yeah, we were the only ones. Yeah. And so, like, the guy said that everyone came at, like, 10.30 and 11. Yeah, and you know, it was just, they said it was, like, back-to-back. -back. I think it was a lot more older folks, but, you know, I love those kind of cruises because, 
they, they have the, the um, knowledge, man. Yeah. They're wise. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a, it's a really it's really clean. Oh my god, I can't wait to to show you guys the rest of the ship. Smoke, Anyways, smells great. Y'all enjoy. Keep on watching. And, and happy uh, Halloween. Happy Halloween. Peace. Peace. It includes cigarettes, electronic cigarettes, cigars, and pipes to take place in the designated smoking areas. As mentioned, fire prevention is a priority on board. We can request that guests unplug all electronic cell phones, cameras, electronic shavers, and hair dryers. Your stateroom steward or stewardess has been instructed to disconnect any electronic devices that have been left unattended. We thank you for your understanding and compliance with this safety policy. We also ask you to refrain from ships that decide to close automatically. Also, whenever possible, there's more people jumping on the outer decks. The region is equipped with 49 meters of water, and there's five lighters on the so this was the first restaurant we ate at. It's a local bar and company. It, it, it is included in the ship. Um, it has, it's open till 3 a.m. as well for late night bites. I got a Virgin Bloody Mary because I am pregnant and I cannot drink. But my husband did opt for a Budweiser. Um, the, the food was good. So the first day the food was like really amazing and hot and fresh. Then as it progressed, the food just became a little bit less better but don't worry just let somebody know and they are more than happy to change the food around and switch you out and get you something fresh so we got the fish and chips the buffalo wing and the blue cheese burger extra bacon Ooh. and jalapenos yummy the cheesy bites or the pretzel bites yummy if you don't really need to go to the restroom, you can just stop and wash your hands. It's everything is like really high tech. They have like the dryer. It's all like touchless soap, towels and dryers. And then even the faucets is touchless. I do recommend eating at the Indian restaurant. It is located in the main dining hall. Um, we can we ate here for three days, so I condensed all the food items into one. So don't judge me. Don't think I ate all this in one go. <laughs> we half orders of everything because um, we wanted to try everything. This is the aloo gobi. This is the arad dal, which is like a, dal, well, a lentil. Yeah, tandoori vegetable salad. Chicken tikka. She's Indian, so she obviously likes it. <laughs> yeah. Chicken tikka, and then this is a fish tikka. And you're even taking the Fresno cheddar naan with cilantro sauce and raita. Tikka masala. And the steamer. And then this is the pork vindaloo. These are the samosas. They're tiny, a little oily. Mm, not that great. Short rib dosa. If you're looking for a quick bite and a quick drink, I would recommend, definitely recommend stopping in the main lounge. Everything is really fast. You order through a, a touchscreen kind of iPad. So if you want a couple of sodas, drinks, teas, coffees, this is all included in your uh, package. Um, it's readily available for you. Just so you know, this place, Coco's, is not included. It's an extra charge. Um, it's an extra like 14 bucks a person. This place is included, the garden. You can have your salads, your vegetarian options. I didn't really like that place, to be honest with you. This is the bar. Just to let you know, when you're stopped on port, you do have to pay taxes. Um, and we had to pay taxes in Texas. This is a Starbucks. You need a Starbucks package for this or you need the premium plus beverage package. Um, to in order to get the Starbucks. Otherwise, you have to pay as you go. And so we did have to pay a port fee even though we had the premium package. This is the whiskey bar. Um, my husband definitely got his money worth at the whiskey bar just because I wasn't drinking, um, but I still had to purchase the premium plus package. He literally drank the entire bottle of Blue Label. So if you don't have the drink package, these are how much they are. So the Blue Label is... 50 bucks and then the matsui is 65. this is the improv um it is not the actual place where they do the improv comedy that's in the main theater we do like karaoke over here uh -huh. 
Hudson's. This one's complimentary. They close at 9 p.m. Menu. Nutch salad. It's a chicken noodle soup. The shrimp creole seafood platter. Ooh. Yeah, do like a little bit of this, you know? Ooh, it's nice and hot. Ooh, it looks hot. Delicious. Looks nice. Definitely authentic. Yeah, and then I got the rigged, no, the penne bolognese. Again, spinach artichoke dip. Oh, yeah, some parmesan. Parmesan. <laughs> ah. Oh, dang, your beard looks so good. Just have to let you know that. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Asian spare ribs. We're back at Hudson's. Rigatoni and chicken. And what is that one? This is the braised short rib. And Ooh. it's. Either Oh, Ooh, it just oh, falls off oh, the bone. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> mm. So yummy. Cheese. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Oh, damn. Damn, so much cheese. That's what you call mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> cheese. <laughs> the creme brulee. Mmm. They're the crap. Mmm. <laughs> yummy. So delicious. Oh wow. That lady was right. Mmm. Mmm. Ladies, this is where it's at. So we're back at Hudson's, but it's the Commodore room, and it's, and now he's eating the coconut shrimp. Ooh. A messy there. Oh. How was that? Crunchy? Hot. Oh, hot. Good. Crunchy. Sauce is good. Very hot. That's Very the thing fun. I like about this restaurant or this cruise. All the food is really hot. This is the chili con carne. What is that big old thing? The oh, white sour, stuff? Cream? sour cream. The white stuff. <laughs> mm. This is delicious. Is it? Kidney beans, ground chili, the cumin. Uh huh. Just tingles your tongue. Ooh. Like no other. The magic's here. This is a salmon with quinoa. This is the fisherman's platter. Yep. You got, what do you got? Shrimp, scallops, mahi mahi. And fries. And clams. And mussels. mussels. Oh, clams, yeah. And then, this is the and eight then eight you got the eight ounce fit. New York strip, baby. Fit for a king. Let me cut this. What'd you get, medium? Medium. Ooh. Ooh. That's a little tough, but let's see. Probably not as good as Cassie's. Probably not. Okay. Mashed potatoes. Okay. But the garlic mashed potatoes. Yes, vegetable medley. Snubbles. Okay. And then fries. French fries. Can I get some ketchup, please? Yes. Thank you. And the French fries. Okay. Okay. How was that steak? Um, I'm not gonna lie. A little on the tough side. Yeah. Cagney's so so Cagney's was better. Okay. Yeah. It looked pretty good. Okay, what is that, babe? Yes. Pudo. Pudo. Something. Pudo something. <laughs> Sushi. Okay, cool. Back to Hudson. I'm a meat eater, but I decided to eat, try this just because it was a meatless option and it's gluten free. Uh, no, sorry, gluten free and vegan. So you got your tofu and then you got your you said a uh, peanut sauce. So. And quinoa. It's just. 
an avocado and fluffy quinoa. Okay, and then this is the rigatoni with Alfredo sauce and mushrooms. <laughs> you want to cut it yeah. for the people? Real Oscar. How is Very that good. one? So, so this is better than the Commodore room, right? A lot better. Yeah. The food the is pepperoni. hot. Yeah, even the food is really hot. Really I got hot. the roasted chicken again. Oh, it's nicely glazed. Yeah, it's a glazed dough. It has a nice filling. Cheese? Cream cheese. That's a little bit. I think the, I like the carrot cake at um, local bar. Well, let's try it. What do you think? It's good. Good? Interesting. Mm. It's like a fried carrot cake. Fried carrot cake? They had a cool haunted... slot machine he's drunk as hell <laughs> he drank too many blue labels Lost a dollar. They got some of my money. You got to put another one. You're gonna be out. Oh my God. God, this is hor- oh god, okay, I'm gonna cash out. This is- so lost a dollar. Two dollars. Okay, so the 18th floor has this whole cool thing. It's where you get to do the golf carts, speedways, bullseye, the drop. 18th floor, you can get, you basically have to get off the 17th floor and then take another elevator to the 18th floor, or you can just walk up the steps, but look, pretty cool, photo booth. Mini golf. <laughs> so first night on the ship, so we're exploring. Going up to this to the slide. I can't go because I am pregnant and I don't want to take any chances. It's my first baby. Are you ready? You can go. Okay, go slide. Yes, just push yourself. You can go. Alright. Yes. Careful, push your head. So the drop basically gets you down from the 18th floor which we're on to the 8th floor in two seconds and the other one the rush that one is a slide that gets you from the 18th floor down to the 8th floor in about five to six seconds so this one is really fast this one is definitely a drop like you just boom um again i don't want to take the chance because i'm pregnant but to be honest with you even if i wasn't i'm such a baby i probably wouldn't do it anyway What happened? 
Oh ya. It's called the dark ride. It's a private room. You gotta wear 3D glasses. So I got pastries and then it comes with some fruit and then like a muffin. Then I got egg white omelettes. Well, these are the regular ham and cheddar omelettes. And then I got the egg white spinach omelette. I put it for 9.30 to 10, it got here at 9.33. So really hot and fresh food. The spa salon and the fitness center is on the 16th floor. So the spa is located on the 16th floor. They have a beauty salon where you can get your hair, your nails done. They have like acupuncture treatment, Botox, all that stuff. We opted for two massages. Reason being for the second one, not only they were really good massages, but we didn't get to stop at two ports, the Cozumel port and the Bahamas port. They didn't give us any kind of percentage off or even kind of like apologize for not stopping at these two ports. We were kind of bummed out about that, but we did end up doing another massage. The massages were $200 a person plus 20% gratuity. You have to pay the gratuity. You can't opt to say, I don't want to pay the gratuity or say that, you know, I'll take off the gratuity and pay them cash. You have to pay the gratuity. The gym is also located on the 16th floor. You have to pass or go through the spa to get to the gym. It was a really nice, spacious uh, gym. Not very many people on there at all. So you kind of had the whole gym to yourself at all times. Lots of treadmills. Everything was working, condition. Everything was clean. They have towels. They have cold towels. They have. They don't have water, but they have like you know um, water dispensers. Uh, luckily, we had the drink package that included water, so we just kind of stopped at one of the whiskey bars, asked for a bottle of water, then came up here. Otherwise, you kind of have to drink the um, water from the dispenser, which I wasn't really satisfied drinking that. Um, they have a little uh, weight section, and they also have a little room that you can stretch in as well. Seventh floor, there's a Surfside Grill, Palomar, and the Food Republic. This is a food at Food Republic, kind of Asian inspired. This is Food Republic, and then this is Palomar. So this is the observation lounge, also on the 16th floor. Oh, no, you're fine, it's just a place where you're fine. Go ahead. you can to relax, chill out, do some work if you need to catch up on it, which we had to do. We had to do payroll because our employees still got to get paid, even though we're on cruising. So uh, luckily we had the Wi-Fi package that we upgraded to so you can do like streaming and everything. Uh, just one device each it was $39.99 per day. Um, also, it's a huge deck. Food is served here from 3, no, yes, yeah, sorry, 3 to 5 p.m. Uh, little light bites and snacks are served here. Uh, they have like, it's kind of like high tea, like afternoon tea. They have like uh, sandwiches, scones, stuff like that. They also have a bar where, you, where they have really good bartenders serving you up some really cool drinks as well.
We just made reservations through the app. And cocktails. So these are the complimentary breads. Well, we get two speciality dining for free. Okay, thank you. Yummy, that's a creamy polenta. So she mix it up. And then this is the burrata. So the crust is like. Thank you. Bolognese with veal, pork, and beef. Tagliatelle with uh, shrimp. I guess a whole bunch of seafood, crab, and all that. Okay. Oh, salmon looks yummy. This is the go go juice. Godino. Panacotta. And you gotta have this the drink package with the double shot espresso. Double shot Starbucks. espresso because he was drinking that and drinking that and he's about to All fall asleep. <laughs> uh, take this. Woo! <laughs> Hello, folks. Got rosemary bread with butter, like a French onion soup, and then this is the tiger shrimp trio. Trio, black, to black tiger shrimp, and that's the beef steak. Tomato salad. Heavyweight coated with black titanium. Oh. And this is the Amici Italian design, and this is the standard. I don't want the standard. I want the. Thank you. The truffle fries. Oh yeah, going caveman style. <laughs> That's not chopped. Gotta do one of this. Let's see. Got the marine knife, titanium coated. Yeah. Cuts like butter. Oh, whoa. Yes. Sure, for this cow. Good boss. Thank you, boss. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is tender. Mmm. <laughs> Cheesecake, and this is a seven layer chocolate cake. Ooh. Unfortunately, since the Norwegian Prima had a much, 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 much older crowd, uh, they did not get down like this. So we kind of walked into this from the eighth floor and we're wondering what is going on here. We noticed everyone had name tags on, and then we kind of figured it out that these are the crew members. We spotted some of you know, people that are served us at the whiskey bar, at the restaurants, and we're like, oh man. So it's really cool that they have an awesome appreciation for their crew members. Um, they really know how to party, by the way. <laughs> okay, so this is the buffet area. They have a salad bar, pizza, beverages. Pasta. Lots and lots of food. Grill. Tacos. Oops. Oops. Also have a noodle bar. Some fruits. From fruits which I probably need to eat. Uh, and then like a dessert area. And then the bar at the end. It's pretty big. Turn it around. Yeah. There you go. 
But don't do what daddy did. Do as he does. Do as we say. There you oh. go. Oh. That's a treat, you get to open on everything. A suki, teppanyaki. Matcha ice cream, green tea cake with uh, ice cream. So this part of the ship was closed because on the first day, I guess somebody walked over it and it shattered. They had too much buffet. <laughs> they had too much buffet. My husband said. Welcome the announcer for the Price Is Right Live, Shaquille Yuri. What's your name? Julia. Julia. Everybody say hi, Julia. Hi, Julia. All right, Julia. You look excited. You got this shirt. David, you can come on down. When I say win me, let's talk after the show. I'm lonely, okay? Uh, <laughs> But that's the thing, ladies, it's okay. Normally, ladies don't admit it. And when are we. Years since I've been broke, I smile in years. Give it a creepy colored wagon. Far as they can go, end of the line. Their dreams were yours, their dreams were mine. But it was. Guys, just to let you know, in the theater, we just figured this really cool hack out. Your wine glass can fit right in there. Isn't that fucking cool? Because we couldn't figure it out. What kind of cups? What can this even hold? Finally, it's a wine glass. Cheers. Cheers. And then this is our huge balcony on the Norwegian Prima. And here's Aruba. We're about to leave Aruba. Really nice town. And right there is the sandbar. And here's the front of the ship. And so we meet, need to make sure not to run to the sandbar on the right. And it looks like the government has laid out a pathway using the cones to mark the sandbar. So we need to basically follow our way out through there. Lost Lobos. Okay, so this is the Same menu. Price as <laughs> should be like three dollars each. Complimentary chips and salsa. Tortilla soup. Queso fundido. This is supposed to be off here. You're gonna cut it. So my cruise review category rating for Norwegian Prima 2022 was an 86%.
So the ports, I gave it a six only because we don't we didn't stop at two of the ports and we weren't given any kind of compensation. Also, be stay tuned and subscribe to my channel to see all the ports we stayed at and what we did there. Toiletries were two, wasn't really any toiletries. Uh, friendliness of stuff was amazing. Speed was amazing. The activities, there's something to do every day. Quality of food and drinks was really good except one day at like the local bar and one day at the Commodore, but they made uh they took care of everything and made it right cleanliness of the crew is beautiful it's a brand new ship pool gym everything the quality of sleep oh my god i didn't even wake up till 11 a.m on some of the nights the overall value was a nine we did spend almost ten thousand dollars on the mini suite um i would i would definitely cruise a norwegian cruise line again i may not go on the prima i have heard a lot of good things about the norwegian cruise line this is our first time on an ncl so i'm going to give it another shot but definitely thank you for watching stay tuned we are going to go on some more cruises and then i also have a whole bunch of videos of like travel restaurants and hotels so subscribe to my channel guys and you will see a lot of cool videos all right thank you for watching as as always don't forget to like share and subscribe